Hey, what's up with the YouTube? Hope everyone's having a great day, feeling blessed. Want to say, uh, excuse me for the lighting. You know, I know it's bad. It makes the quality of the video look bad. Um, in today's video, I really want to talk about getting loads for for your for your trucking business. This is a uh, a question that I'm always asked by a lot of people that are interested in getting into the industry or or um, are planning on getting into the industry and best best advice i can give is for um all, all the new uh, people coming in is try to um uh, try to find your personal customers you know go out and shop around and promote your business which is either on you know social media uh, through advertisement and biggest thing is just, just getting out of the metaverse and, and going out and you know talking to different companies different people and, and introducing yourself introducing your business you know give out your business cards and, and, and promote what you have to offer as a trucking business and you know hopefully the, 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 the people that you're um, trying to um do business with can come to an agreement with you and and start giving you loads and you start moving their freight for them and that's 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 number one but you're most likely gonna be starting out on um dat or truck stop you know those are the two main load boards that a lot of people like to use and and i'm talking for you know hot shot and and i mean they got it they got it for everything i mean in the in these load boards you, you just type in the type of uh the type of uh trucking that you do you know if it's flatbed reefer dry van and if you want to do like power onlys and and then depending on what kind of uh equipment you have to pull to or if it's hot shot you know what kind of trailer you you uh you got as well. I mean, and that just goes back to you know the the reefer, the dry van, the flatbed, step deck. You know, and I just repeated myself, so I apologize. But you're gonna be the thing about these load boards is you you will find you know decent loads on there, and you're gonna find a lot of cheap loads. And right now, like the industry is uh, it's a little rough specifically for a uh, hot shot trucking you know i can speak on that it's 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 rough right now i mean every now and then you'll find yourself a good load that's paying you know good money for for short haul or long or long haul but it's it's uh it's really uh it's really rough right now the market but you're gonna be dealing with a lot of these uh these brokering companies that are uh, shooting these loads out on these on these load boards and you know, I ain't gonna lie man that yeah it, they're they're all difficult to deal with you know and and you really don't know if if you really are getting a good deal or if, if you're not getting a good deal with them it's 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 really hard and then another thing to keep in mind is um are they double brokering the load are they uh you know, are they gonna play with your money once you once you make the delivery? And then there's a lot of miscommunication too. You like, they're quick to uh, they're quick to send you their little uh, tracking device. You know, on like Macro Point and all these other softwares that they got. You know, that you download the app to your phone and, and then they track you. You know, you put when you arrive and depart, which is understandable. It's it's they want to know if the load got picked up and you know where you're at, which. You know, I ain't got no problem with that, but they're constantly calling you and calling you. But then, let's just say you fulfilled the job on a timely manner. You did everything. You you did everything right on your end. You might not get paid. You know, that's that's they they. You know, it's happened to me before, so it's just something to keep in mind. I'm not saying that it always happens, but um, that's the thing about double brokering and just just dealing with shady people but just recently the fmcs csa has just passed a new law where if brokers are not paying you your money 
they could suspend their, their their brokerage. So that's I think that's gonna help a lot of uh, a lot of carriers in, in in the trucking business all the way around. So I'm, you know, I'm glad that they uh, passed that law because you know that stuff ain't right, man. You you, you go out there, you do the job, you want to get your money. You know, and then another thing is about these law boards is keep it real with y'all. This you're gonna uh, more than likely have to get a factoring company to to be able to get paid right away. You know, because most of them pay, a, you know, a net thirty. So you gotta wait thirty days to get your to get your money from the from the company. So you know, more than likely, uh, you know, you'll be using a, a factoring company to get your money, which. You know they take a percentage out of it, but you know, let's say you're 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 banging out jobs every day, or you know, a couple jobs a day, or just depending on what kind of what kind of hauling you're doing. I mean, you you'll get paid right away, you know, within that 24-hour period, which is really nice because then you got cash flow coming into your business on a daily basis, which. You know, banks like to do that. You'll have cash flow for your business as well, so you can uh, have money to operate your your trucking business. And you know, through these um, through these uh, deals that you're getting through this law board, you know, you might you might build a relationship with someone in there as well. And then you know, sometimes some of these places you deliver to, you know, might might ask you, hey, you got a business card? Um, how much you charge to you know haul freight from here to here you know it, it, it does happen and and then you might build a good relationship right there and that you know it might be one that that seals a deal where you're just hauling from them for them all the time and then that's just man it's it's it's, it's all game from there you know you, you don't have money coming in all the time and then you set your prices now you ain't got to deal with these load boards no more but the load boards are good to have and I don't have them anymore because I'm leased on, so I couldn't really tell you a price on how much they cost, you know, for like the, the, the high package one, but it's, it's up there, you know, on a monthly, you know, fee, but it is good to, you know, get some work out of it. But, you know, again, they don't always have the best, the best rates on there. You know, the best thing you're going to want to do is build relationships. Um, and that's just going out and, and working to, to get these, these, uh, these, uh, relationship customers that you're going to be working with especially um, if you can get one that's you know operates locally that way you ain't got to be going over the road all the time going cross country and all this other stuff and you can be you know if you're a family man or you know you, you don't really like being on the road hey it's a win-win right there I mean I know I know a homie out in uh, out in Vegas man his his fleet they they just do local stuff, man. He he don't even have a bed in the back of his truck. He he, he has the seat stock because he don't sleep in his truck. And if he for some reason does, he just gets a hotel room. But he, he even told me himself he ain't even doing all that. So you know, shouts out to to my boy out there in Vegas, man. You know who you are. And yeah, you know, build relationships and you know use the try to try to make it to a point where. You use the Lord boards only when you need to, you know, if, if stuff's slow with the, with the personal customers that you have, you know, your direct customers. Everyone, please hit the like button, subscribe button, you know, leave a comment if you like the video. And you guys have a great night. Adios.